day your kids have probably been looking forward to obviously all week, maybe mm -hmm. even all month. <laughs> and while Halloween is full of fun and games and candy, there is a lot of danger too. All week long, we're taking a deeper dive into the safety of you and your family, and that includes some precautions you can take to keep your trick or treaters safe. 13 Action News reporter Marissa Kiniston shows you mm -hmm. what you can do right from the palm of your hand, Marissa. Yeah, you can actually do this right now while you're watching us. Go ahead and download the Be Safe app and we want to show you how it works. So essentially, this is going to be really good for those parents who may have older kids and aren't necessarily trick or treating with them tonight, but still want to keep their eye on them as they're out and about because this app will let you track another user in real time. So we want to show you how it works. I have my app up. Our photographer Eric also has his app up and we're going to pull his screen uh, up on the TV for you right now so you can see him. I'm going to send him out walking right now and uh, you can see where he's going uh, on your screen right now. He's the red icon and so you can see that this is in real time. You can track the other user and essentially uh, just kind of keep your eye on them as they're out walking around. So this is just one of the ways you can keep your kids safe tonight. Adult supervision, daylight, no streets to cross. Many families are opting for trunk or treats for safety reasons. And I think everyone's in such a hurry, they're not paying attention to the children and to the crossways. But there's still the traditionalists going door to door, trick or treating. And for those, there are some concerns. According to Safe Kids Worldwide, children are twice as likely to get hit and killed by a car on Halloween than any other day. And just yesterday, a five-year-old old boy in Ohio tested positive for meth after going trick or treating. So here's some things you can do to protect your kids. First, bring a flashlight or add reflective tape or even glow sticks to kids costumes or bodies to make them more visible to drivers. Well, a lot of people are wearing those if they're out with their children, they can trick or treat with them and they can be visually seen. Mark is the owner of Star Costumes. He says another way you can protect your kids and teens this Halloween, opt for headbands or face paint instead of masks that could block their vision. You cannot talk, you cannot see. Leave the masks to the adults headed to the parties. If you have older kids and aren't trick or treating with them this year, have them download the Be Safe app. It essentially lets one user track another one in real time by following them on a map. And last, even though tampering is rare, check your kids Halloween candy. Look for holes or rips or any discoloration. So a lot of ways you can uh, be proactive and keep your kids safe tonight. But again, that Be Safe app, Dana, Beth, I know, uh, Beth, you have uh, an older daughter who uh, may benefit from something like this. Well, I was just telling you, you know, we don't want six-year-olds to no. go out by themselves. We want parents to be with them. But my daughter and her middle school friends have been asking, could we go as a group? Mm. I said no, but something like this would make me feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would make a lot of parents feel better just kind of keeping their eye on their kids yeah. uh, without actually having to be there with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a great tool. It's a, or even if your group splits up, it's mm -hmm. a great tool because you know where the other half of your group is. So thanks, Marissa. For a lot of the high schoolers, it's not cool to go out with mom, right?